The wait is over. Littlest Pet Shop's newest generation is finally here. And with the first 18 LPS of Series 1, this is the complete blind box set. So I'm gonna open every single one of them in this video and see what G7 is all about. Since I'll be going over all of the LPS, if there's a specific one you want to see, the timestamps will be listed in the description. So let's get into it. The back of each box shows all the pets you can get, and there's a number on the bottom that can be used to identify the LPS inside if you know which one you're looking for. Specifically, the last two digits match the number of the pet. So for example, LPS number one will be inside this first box here. And this is the panda mascot, the very first LPS of Generation 7. Each box also comes with one accessory, a card, virtual code token, and a collector's guide, with a checklist plus information about the different symbols on the card. Design-wise, it's similar to older checklists from previous generations. So now, the LPS. This first one is a friendliest panda, identified by a personality symbol here above its eye. That said though, this is one of the few pets so far that also has marks in its eyes too, just as the original Gen 2 pets did. It also has the classic LPS logo printed on the back of its head and a hole on the bottom like the later G2 pets. The accessory it comes with is this little green plant. As for quality, I'd say it holds up pretty well. The paint looks good, the bauble works nicely, and the eyes are glossy. If you look closer, they kind of have that graininess to them, but it's not something that's super noticeable, on this LPS at least. The copyright on the bottom actually says 2023 Hasbro, so this panda does appear to be an updated mold. Then, how does it compare to the original G2 LPS? Here they are side by side, and the proportions do look a bit different. The plastic on the G7 version is a little squishier, as people have noticed, but it's not too bad on this one. Also, it seems like the painted details are shinier on the new LPS. Overall, the two are really similar. Okay, second box. And it's LPS number two, a purple poodle with a brush. This one is a sassiest pet, shown by a symbol also above its eye like the panda. But unlike the last one, this LPS and all the other non-pandas use their original molds from Generation 2. The head is definitely squishier than the old one, and the eyes are less clear, but other than that, they're pretty comparable. Here's the third box. And this horse is a mold that previously wasn't used for many LPS, just two. So I like Basic Fun's decision to bring back more underrated pets. That's something that'll probably come up a few more times throughout this video. Its personality is friendliest, and it comes with a bucket accessory. Compared to the G2 version of this mold, its head is, again, a softer plastic. But also, this is the only one of this mold that I had before now, and it looks, uh, questionable. So I'm glad to get a better one, at least in my opinion. On to the fourth blind box. A chilliest cat plus a drink. This one looks great. It has a lot of detail in its design, from its different colored eyes to the gradient on its face. I think some painted accents on its body would look good too, like on its paws or fur maybe. But it is a blind box pet, so it's always been standard for these LPS to be pretty plain, even with G2. There is another one of this pet included in the display, so you actually get two of this LPS when you get the whole set. That one has some sort of paint blemish on its face, so I guess it's a good thing there's a second LPS. But this pet looks okay. I don't have any other LPS in this mold, but I will say, the head is squishy compared to older ones in general, and even compared to a few of the other pets from this set. The closest thing I have is this fake LPS. It's not that useful for the purposes of this comparison, but I think it's interesting how most fake LPS like this one, at least in my experience, are made of a harder plastic than the authentic G2 pets, while the new Gen 7 LPS have a softer plastic. But anyway, box number five. This one is a sportiest bull with a trophy. I'm also happy to report that the LPS has two horns, despite one of its promotional pictures. Not sure what happened with that. I'm not a big fan of the personality symbol placement. At least for me, I prefer when it's more subtle. But still, I use the original LPS as my mascot, so maybe I'm biased. But I'm glad they finally made another bull LPS, since before there was only ever one with that mold. That said though, they're actually quite different when put next to each other. The new one is a brighter color with darker red accents. Its eyes are also more pixely looking, and it's missing a lot of details from the old one, which is unfortunate. I will say though, I don't know why they only painted the front hooves on the G2 version. It's always something that's bothered me a little. I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to looking at the original LPS, but the new one almost looks unfinished in comparison, if that makes sense. Either way though, I still like this one a lot, since the bull is one of my favorite LPS. Moving on, the sixth box. It's a green sassiest centipede or caterpillar, I don't know how people usually refer to this mold, and the accessory is a drink. This pet has very vibrant colors. I don't always see insect like LPS get much attention, but I think it would be cool if Basic Fun continued to make more of them. On this one you can sort of see that pixelated quality in the star printed on its face. Compared to the G2 version, the new pet's head is a lot softer. Seventh box. And it's this otter. This pet's personality is friendliest, and the accessory is binoculars. 
It can kind of wear them around its neck like this. I like LPS otters, and there were only five that existed prior to this, so it's nice to see another one, even though its design isn't necessarily new. I also like how there are painted details on the body like its neck and paws, since not all LPS in this set have that. Its look is almost the same as this pet from G2. They both even have the design in their ears. The biggest difference here is that the old one has more muted colors, and the new one, like most other LPS in this generation, is very saturated. The head is also, of course, squishy, but still pretty solid. And now for box 8. The LPS is a chilliest pet with a scarf. This one turned out to be somewhat divisive online when it was revealed. A lot of people had some strong opinions on it. Even though its design was polarizing, quality-wise its eyes are some of the better ones. They look quite clear. In the stock picture it has a strange indent on its ear, but that is not on the actual LPS. There was also some controversy over the scarf being plastic instead of fabric. I think it's okay, especially since it can fit other LPS. It would be cool to see fabric accessories later though. Again, this pet is pretty comparable to G2. The head is just squishier and the ears are more bendable. Next is the ninth box. This bird. It has the sportiest personality and includes a surfboard. The original mold comes from a G2 pet triplet set. So before, there was only one LPS that existed with this mold. I don't own the original version, so I don't have that to show for comparison, but this one has a scratch or something in its eye. And there's also some sort of residue on the back of its head. I don't know how well it'll show up on screen. It does come off though. Here's box number 10. This LPS is a sassiest pet, and its accessory is a boat. Only the front paws are painted, but that's better than none. The design is similar to this G2 Cocker Spaniel. It looks pretty good, I think. This is the only other LPS I have with that mold to use for comparison. It's one of those music note blind bag pets. Obviously their designs aren't similar in the slightest, but everything else is the same mold-wise. Just the new one has that softer plastic. Although, come to think of it, some of the criticisms about the G7 pets I think are reasons why these particular blind bag LPS weren't too popular. The placement of the music notes felt kind of slapped on and gimmicky, and the colors were really bright for LPS. Of course, the G7 pets are much better than that line of blind bags, at least in my opinion, but it's still something interesting to think about. 11th box. It's this pelican with a chilliest personality, and its accessory is a fish. This LPS was another one that was talked about a lot online. When it was first revealed, a lot of people were worried about the pixely look in its eyes. Er, well, eye, that was shown in this picture. And yeah, I can definitely see that on the actual LPS in person. Other than that, everything else about it looks fine. But it is still too bad that the eyes don't look the best. Here it is next to an older version. Painted parts like the beak are shinier on the new one. Box number 12. A corgi with a crown. This one is the fanciest pet. Its design looks really similar to another LPS from G7 in the Fun Factory playset, so much so that there was early speculation about one of them being a prototype version. But nope, they're two separate pets. Compared to the G2 one, the new version seems like it bobbles more. At least mine does. And now for box 13. It's a hungriest chameleon with a leaf. This one I'd say is my favorite LPS of the whole set. There was only one pet of this mold before now, and when it was revealed that Basic Fun would be making more of them, I was really looking forward to it. I've always liked LPS chameleons. And the eyes aren't pixely or grainy at all. Quality-wise, this is one of the best ones so far. Downside is, it doesn't have its own unique accessory, since it's the same thing that was included with the panda. I know the accessories aren't the main selling point of the blind boxes. Of course, that's the LPS. But still, I think it would be better if there weren't duplicates. Compared to the G2 Chameleon, which is one of my favorite LPS in existence, they're very alike. They both have the same general color scheme, just the new one is more vibrant. The design on the back is also different. I kinda wish the new version had the stripes on its tail though. Next, the 14th box. This sportiest shark and a surfboard. Again, this is a repeat accessory. The LPS has no bobble, as with other G2 LPS fish molds, and overall it looks pretty good. The eyes are kind of grainy, but not terrible. I can see it more with the design on its fins though. The old one feels way more solid. On the new LPS, the head is quite squishy and the fins are super bendable. On to box 15. It's a sassiest anteater with a banana. This is another brightly colored LPS. Its head is squishy though, especially when compared to the old version. Box number 16. Another panda LPS and another green plant. Like the other one, this is also a friendliest pet, and it has a personality symbol in its eyes too. It's essentially a recolor of the first LPS. I still wish it came with its own accessory, but the pet itself looks good. This LPS also uses the new basic fun panda mold, so you can see those slight differences side by side with the G2 version and the 17th box. This is a chilliest walrus, and it comes with another bucket for its accessory. It is a different color though. 
The Walrus is another mold that I like quite a bit. I think it would look better if its nose or tusks were painted too. Compared to the G2 version, its head is pretty squishy. I know it's not a re-release of an older design like some of the others, so it's not an exact comparison, but this G2 Walrus has more details like its nose and tusks and even freckles. But still, the new Walrus is one of my favorites of these small box pets. Finally, we've made it to the last box, number 18. It's the hungriest pet and it comes with a potted plant. The LPS itself is pretty plain, but this is probably the most detailed accessory out of all the boxes. I don't mind the simplicity of this LPS, it's to be expected with blind box pets anyway, but the nose has kind of a strange look to it up close. Maybe it was just printed weird. I like the subtle placement of the personality symbol though. This LPS has a nice cohesive color scheme. Here it is next to an older pet. They're pretty similar overall. Well, those were all 18 LPS blind boxes in Series 1 of the new Generation 7. This was a highly anticipated release for a lot of collectors, and now that they're finally available, we can start to get an idea of what the future of LPS will look like in the hands of basic fun. So here are the main things that I've noticed. There are differences, yes, like the quality in the eyes for example, or the feel of the plastic. I know that this was a result of some budget decisions to keep the costs down, but hopefully as time goes on there will be improvements on those things while still balancing the price for consumers, but the quality is not too bad as a whole. Some painted details are also shinier on the new LPS. I don't have much of an opinion on that either way, it's just a difference. The signature LPS bauble works great, it's exactly like before. Most of the LPS are very saturated in color. I think it's okay if that's the look they want to go for in this generation, but variety is always nice too. I like the selection of molds they've decided to use so far. I know it's not the most popular ones for most people, but a lot of the ones they've used so far happen to be some of my personal favorites from Generation 2. At the same time though, I think it would be sort of a missed opportunity if they didn't bring back some of the bigger molds within the community. As far as the personality symbol thing, I think it works on some pets, and on others it just seems kind of awkward. I much prefer when it's integrated into the design more as a whole, rather than being randomly placed somewhere just for the sake of existing. I understand the idea behind it as sort of a callback to the eye symbols of G2 pets, and I like that basic fun is trying a new way of bringing that back, but sometimes the execution is hit or miss. Overall though, I think these new LPS will fit in well with a collection of G2 pets, or make for a good collection as they are on their own, and I'd say the brand is headed in the right direction. But after seeing everything, what are your thoughts on all the new LPS? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in more LPS videos, please subscribe and turn on all notifications. If you want, you can also follow on Instagram for more, plus story countdowns to future uploads and video updates to see what's coming next to the channel before it's posted here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.